What's happening? If you're new to my channel, my name is Tasha Marie TMR. How you doing, baby? All right. If this is your first time here and you have not yet subscribed, please do so at this moment. And if you've been watching me for a while and you just realized, dang, I've been missing all of Tasha Marie TMR's video. Well, girl, go on and hit that notification button and make sure you click the top option, which is all. So, therefore, you could be notified every time I drop a new video. And if you've been watching me for a while and you just still like, uh, girl, go on and hit that subscribe button. You know you love me. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. How y'all doing this morning? It's Friday, baby. Okay? It's Friday. It's Friday. Friday, it's Friday, baby. I am too excited about today, okay? Because guess what, y'all? It's a three-day weekend. I'm a weekend girl. Hey, and I don't have time on the weekdays. Hey, weekend girl. Okay, y'all know nothing about that. Yeah. Hey, if you know who that song is made by, leave it down in the comments, okay? Y'all, that used to be my jam back in the day. My mother used to love that song. All right, so y'all, I just told my age, okay? Okay. All right, y'all, it's Virgo season. Well, it's been Virgo season for a while. Today is my brother's birthday. And if you watch this, happy birthday, bro. Um, It's my little brother. He's two years younger than me. Um, We're both Virgo girls. Virgos. Look, I said Virgo. Um, his birthday, like I said, is today. Mine's is next month. So we're both Virgos. So anyway. All right, y'all. So just really quick, I want to do a little housekeeping um before we get started with the video, y'all. Um, the reason why I'm looking back and forth, y'all, because I'm trying to merge across the streets so I can get into traffic so I can get on my way to the J O B A. Um if you do not know, or if you know and you just ain't got around to it, please go over to my new cooking channel. It's called Tasha's Cooking Chronicles. You guys, I have a giveaway. Yes, a giveaway. When I hit 500 subscribers, I believe the last time I looked, I'm at 393. So y'all come on, go on over there and subscribe to your girl, okay? Because just like you entertain over here, you will be entertained over there, okay? Um... What else we got going on? All right, you guys. You know, for um, for everybody who watches me on a regular or if you're just, just now tuning in, um, myself and my YouTube sis, Francois Vlogs, we do a live talk show on the weekend, normally on Saturdays. But this Saturday, we won't be doing that live because um, I have a wedding that I'm attending Saturday. And um, so we're going to do the live tonight friday yes girl tonight okay okay so make sure you guys come over and um hang out with us tonight it'll probably be around 9 p.m eastern standard time um and it'll be on my channel um but if you have not yet subscribed to her channel please go over there and subscribe to francois vlogs because next week the live will be on her channel as well and she also does a live every Saturday morning called Coffee Coffee Tea and Me, uh, where she do like you know girl talk on Saturday. She does she talks about makeup, um, clothing, purses. She does a lot of unboxings on on Saturdays that from places like Amazon and other places that she orders stuff from. So if you have not yet, go ahead and subscribe to her channel so you can be included in on that as well. Okay, all right, y'all. That's it for the housekeeping rules. Um, all right, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm a little distracted. I'm trying to get over. Okay. So, y'all. I seen yesterday, Strong Mommy Chrissy, um, went live in the hospital. Okay. Um, we saw on Instagram the little picture of her holding baby Onyx hand. C Chrissy, congratulations to you, baby. I'm glad that the baby came safely. I'm glad you made it out. Um, safely, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Um, we all know for women, um, the closest thing to death for a woman is delivering a baby. And I don't care if you got if you've had four or forty kids. Each and every time you go to deliver a baby, you know there's just always a fear. 
Um, it's, it's a very crucial, critical moment to deliver a, a life into the world because you not only have to worry about your own life, you have to worry about your, your own life, you have to worry about that unborn baby's life, and if you have children already here, you have to worry about their lives too because God forbid if something happens to you, who's going to take care of your babies, all right? So at the end of the day, you guys, she made it, and I, I thank God for that, and I thank God for um, baby Onyx as well. Um, so, you know, I, I do understand I've been watching a lot of videos and stuff and a lot of people are upset um, that Straw Mommy Chrissy hasn't showed the baby yet. And, you know, you know, I get it. You know, at the end of the day, when we watch these people, especially the ones who vlog their lives, we, we become a part of their lives. You can't help but to do it. Um, especially when you're watching YouTube because these are reality, you know, these are these people's actual lives. So you get very invested. And, um, but I will say this, you guys, at the end of the day, that's her baby. Okay. It's her baby. And she'll show her baby when she's ready to show. Her. She don't owe us nothing. You know, if you are a person who have subscribed to her channel, she didn't force you to subscribe. If you're a person who not subscribed but just watches her videos, she hasn't forced you to do that either. Anybody who watches her videos or subscribes to her channel does that their own their own free will. Okay, nobody's forcing you, nobody's coercing you, and you're not even paying for the subscription. Okay, it's free, right? So you know, a lot of people say, "Oh, she acting like she's a celebrity." Well, as as far as YouTube, she is, y'all. You know, I mean, she has well over a hundred thousand subscribers like that's a big that's, that's big on YouTube you know a hundred thousand and a million those are very big milestones for um, YouTube creators um, and you know at the end of the day you guys what she shows on her channel she makes money off of that so my personal opinion is I believe she's gonna wait till she gets back home and she's gonna present the baby to the world in the form of a vlog because we all know y'all she's gonna get hella views on that and she's gonna make money off of that i mean that's what she does y'all she makes money off the things that she shows on her channel her baby is a hot topic um so she's gonna present it in a vlog i mean you can't get mad at her for that at the end of the day that's how she makes her money you can't knock nobody's hustle Okay, she's gonna show that. But you know, y'all, it's just like this. You know, it. When I had a baby, I had four, right? And a lot of people didn't come to the hospital initially because I didn't want everybody bombarding me at the hospital because I'm trying to rest, right? I'm trying to get um, bond with my baby, right? And when I brought the baby home, people were calling me. Tasha, you y'all home yet? Yeah, we here. Okay, well, we here and come see the baby. Uh-uh, wait. You know, I should just give me a few days, you know, to get acclimated with my baby and my, you know, at home. And this is a new environment for him, him or her. Um, and then, you know, after a week or so, I started inviting people over to come visit with me and the baby. I mean, it's the same thing, y'all. I mean, she... She don't have to show. Y'all got to understand, you know, although a lot of people have, are supporting her, but it's not to say that she's, excuse the way I phrase it, it's not like, it's not to say she's shitting on everybody because she's not showing her baby. She's just going to show her baby when she's ready to show her baby. That's her choice. It's her baby. Y'all, at the end of the day, we ain't the daddy. Okay? We not her cousins. We not her mamas. We not her aunties. We are strangers. Okay, for all the people who sent things to Chrissy in support of her and her and, and the new baby coming, they did that out of their own free will, out, out the kindness of their heart, you know. And she'll show that baby when she's ready to show it. And trust me, y'all, she's gonna show the baby, she can't help but to show it if she's gonna keep vlogging her life, you know. And as far as you know, people speculating on the fact that if her husband was there, well, at the end of the day, yeah, y'all, more than likely he was there. He just ought to be. If he wasn't there for nothing else, that ninja need to be there for that. Okay? And, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, we don't know what's going on, you know, behind the scenes with them. 
We, we know what Chrissy tells us. But again, y'all, it's a storyline. You either be entertained with it or not. You know? Um, but yeah, I, I don't I don't knock that young lady for doing what she's doing. You know, um, she went live just to say, hey y'all, how y'all doing? I, you know, engage with her audience. Yes, we're fine. You know, everybody's okay. Y'all hear the baby cooing in the background. Um, she was trying to, you know, get the baby to latch on for breastfeeding. Okay, y'all. You know what I mean? It's it's hard. It's gonna be all right. She gonna show that baby. She she don't have to. As soon as the baby come out the womb, she p pushing it on the TV or on the screen. Now she don't have to do it like that. That she don't have to do that. She do what she wants to do when she wants to do it. At the end of the day, we don't own her. You know. I mean, come on, y'all. Like, you know, we we taking this stuff a little bit too seriously, you guys. It's just like anybody else. You show your baby when you're ready to show your baby. That's your baby. Okay? That's your baby. I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying. Um. Yeah, I don't know, y'all. I, 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 you know, I, I was just... I mean, of course, you know, me personally, I don't care one way or the other. I'm just glad the baby's here and the baby's fine. You know? That's all I'm worried about. I mean, she ain't never got to show the baby. Me personally, I don't care, you know, and I am subscribed to her channel, you know, but I mean, I get it. I understand, you know, and as a content creator, you have, you, you, you present the, the information, <coughs> excuse me, you guys, you present the information in the manner and in the form of how you want to present it because it's your information, it's your channel. Okay? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. Y'all know I'm still trying to come over this cold I have. So, yeah, yeah, that's all I really wanted to say about that. Um I, you know, people people are just getting really a little too upset about the whole situation and I don't understand why. You know, I, I didn't feel no type of way. And I'm be honest with y'all, that live she did yesterday, I yeah, I watched it for all about four minutes, maybe five. I don't know. It wasn't long. I was at work. I didn't watch it really long. Um, cause I'm I mean, I you know, whatever. I don't really care. I mean I get there's some people it's a lot of people that don't care either, but they're just looking at the principle. Well, the principle is nobody says she I mean the baby only been here for two days. You know what I'm saying? Nobody says she's not going to show it. She's just going to show it when she's ready. Period. Um, yeah, y'all. So that's enough of that. We're we going to get on off that conversation. Okay? Okay. Um, y'all, did y'all hear about Judge Mathis? Well, if you didn't hear about it, let me tell you about it now. Judge Mathis was somewhere at a... Uh, I believe he was at a hotel or something and he his car was he, he you know he was waiting for his car his Rolls Royce through valet parking um, the, the attendant said it would be like 40 minutes before the car could he could be able to retrieve the car they allegedly judge Mathis got very upset had words with the um, valet attendant and the valet attendant said that judge Mathis assaulted him by spitting on him now judge Mathis has um, um, rebuke the allegations. He said that is not true. He said yes, he was very upset. Yes, he did give some words to the valet attendant, but no, he did not spit on him. And at the end of the day, I pretty I, I, I'm praying Judge Mathis, being a professional man that he is supposed to be, had enough sense and it should have had enough self composure to not to be spitting on people. The, the way he clowned on people in his uh, TV show about showing out and acting a fool. I know Judge Mathis. You wasn't standing up in no uh, a place of business and upset because somebody didn't run and go get your run and go fetch your car when you you know when you was ready for it. Now maybe Judge Mathis was talking, you know, because he Judge Mathis said he you know he was upset. Maybe he was talking and he was. And spit might have been flying out. You know how we get upset, y'all. We talking so fast, and and that that might that might have happened. I'm not saying that didn't happen. That could have happened. 
But for I don't, I, you know, I'm hoping and praying that Judge Mathis didn't pew in nobody's face. Like I'm hoping and praying that didn't happen. Okay, okay. All right, y'all. I, you know, it's it's some other stuff going on. Um, be honest with you guys, y'all. I went to bed really early last night. Um, I've been staying up so late working on my YouTube, both my channels, and been neglecting myself and neglecting my sleep. That's, I believe that's how I got sick. Cause you know, y'all, when you don't get a lot of rest, that's what happens. Um, y'all, the summer is over, y'all. It's it's over. So. For everybody who's going to do any um, grilling out this weekend, make sure y'all get it in because the summer is leaving. I know, y'all. It, it was it was fun while it lasted, but, you know, we got to get on into these fall winter months, unfortunately. Um, and also, in closing, I just want to say this. If you are a person who is in the path of Hurricane Doreen, um, I pray for everybody who's involved in that hurricane. Uh, I pray that you have all the supplies that you need. Um, I, I pray that everybody make it, makes it through that hurricane safely. I truly do. Um, it's just a horrific ideal of going through such a natural natural disaster. And I pray it's not as, it's not going to be as bad as people are saying. But do know that um, myself here up north in the northern part of the United States is praying for all the people that's in the southern part. Um, and that could potentially be affected by Hurricane Doreen. All right, y'all. I'm going to go and get off out of here. I'm, like I said, I'm almost at work. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you made it to the end. If you did, you're the real MVP. And remember, y'all, be easy and sub what you love. Bye-bye.